Hello, Strutal. I've come for Greg. I know your name because I am Pink Death. You've only heard legend of me. But I've come for his soul. I must return it to the land of fear. And if you get in my way of that, I perhaps will take you. So why don't you just make my job easier and tell me where he is? Because right now, I'm being haunted by a ghost crab and I want to keep this short. How dare you bring up my mother and talk about pudding that way? What? What did you do to her with pudding? That's besides the point. Where is Greg? You are avoiding my question, quite obviously. You know, the guy that wears too much mascara. Where is he? So what you're saying is you're completely incompetent and you haven't seen Greg at all? Well, I suppose I'm in the wrong room. It would seem this is quite confusing to you. My apologies. Go back to whatever it was you were doing. Yeah, with your potato salad. Yes, excuse me, service desk. Got a quick question for you. You know the freak that wears too much mascara? Yeah, he's kind of my client. And he's gone missing, and I've heard he's been kidnapped here. Do you know anything? Because these ghost crabs are really getting on my nerves. And I can't do shit about it until I have Greg back. He can, he can dig the crabs out of my anus. Hey, I'm Best Brett, also known as Go Fuck Yourself. So guess what? Go fuck yourself. You and your damn pink skeleton self. Just go fuck it. Just go fuck it all. Go fuck your pink bones. Big pink bone butt. Go fuck it. I don't care. You do what you gotta do, man. Do what you gotta do. Just do what you gotta do. Also, kinda irritated, kinda constipated. You know, got the whole going on over here. So, uh, you probably can't see it, but I'm actually sitting on a sitting on a bucket right now, taking a big dump. Actually, I didn't want any of that experience. My crabs are bad enough, and now I've got your anus to deal with. What the fuck? Okay, look, look, I just need to know where Greg is, and I will get out of your hair, and you won't have to give a fuck, okay? I just need to know where Greg is, so I can drag his ass back. So I can drag it back to- Would you stop your farting? Shut up! Boy, you need to get the hell out of my face. You need to get the hell right up out of my face. Can you not see I'm over here shitting? That's what I'm doing. Taking a shit. Taking a big shit. Big stinky poop. Super stinky over here. Super. Yeah. See? You hear that? You hear that? Do you hear what's coming out of my anus right now? It's bad, man. It's really bad. Really bad. Stinks like a motherfucker up in this bitch. I swear, man, my ass sounds like dubstep. It's crazy. There it is. There it is, right there. <laughs> See, you're gagging, man. you gagging. Told you not to do it. Told you not to be here. Told you not to be here. Well, I'm taking my shit. But, you know, you're here anyway. And, uh, yeah, now you get to be a part of this experience with me. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoy. I don't even have a fucking nose and I can smell your shit. Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, that's bad. That is so very bad. Me and my tiny cra ghost crabs don't need this bullshit. So, I'm just gonna leave you to this and be in the next room. Cause fuck you, man, fuck you. And your smelly asshole.
Hello, you may know me as Pink Death. I kind of go against everything you believe in since you're like a priest or some shit. But listen, listen to me good. I need to drag someone to hell. So you need to help me before these tiny ghost crabs possess me beyond the point of no return. I need to return to my world soon or everything will go to hell. So priest, will you help me find Greg Mascara? Hello, my son. I understand that you are looking for someone to drag to hell, but I am also looking for someone. One of my... One of my children. He was supposed to be going to the bathroom to get undressed for a baptization, but he hasn't returned. I'm wondering what happened. Have you seen him? Have you seen him? He is the cutest little child. So, you're saying I need to drug you to hell? I mean, what kind of sick bullshit is that? You told a little boy to undress? And for what? And for what? To sing you a lullaby, perhaps give you a fucking massage? You... This is exactly why the internet exists! This is why pedophiles like you need to be drugged to hell! I know not what you're talking of. I am not of the evil that you speak. I am simply a priest who is willing to baptize any and all followers of Christ. I am here to help the young and the needy and the innocent and the cute and the adorable and the boys. Sometimes the girls, but mostly the boys. Sometimes. But mostly boys. Have you seen my child? Morning, boys, said the skeleton, sitting by her closet door. Dirty secrets, empty memories. This is a set it off reference. Full credit goes to them. Anyway, what the fuck, man? I, I just, I don't know what I just done. Oh, you just remind me of that pedophilic song. No, that's not even a pedophilic song. You make that song pedophilic. You should be ashamed of yourself. I actually liked that song. Before now. That is the devil's music, my child. You know not the ways of Christ. I am simply here to cleanse people. Especially the young children of the world. Because they need their innocence maintained at all times. Most adults are beyond saving, but the children, they still have hope. And if you condemn me for that, then your soul is already lost. I'm death, bitch. I'm already lost. My soul is in eternal damnation. I run the land of fear. And pretty soon, you're going to fucking know what that's about. Oh, my lord, if you continue down this path of damnation, I have every right to take your soul from you. You fucking disgusting human- See, that is what you get for damnation. You are being choked by the lord. You are being choked by the lord. The lord is entering your hole and taking out all of your breath. He is bringing glory to it. He is making it now your glory hole. You do not- no! Stop right there! Glory hole? Look, I'm getting really tired of this. I've been all over this airship multiple times. I've yet to find the man who wears way too much mascara. You seem a lot like a, um, a finding kind of guy. Perhaps we could strike a deal and you could help me out. Your soul should never be damned if you could only point me in the direction of Greg Mascara. The mascara wearing weirdo who actually doesn't realize his eyeliner. Hola, mi amigo. I see that you are deaf. This is interesting to me. Perhaps you have not come to take me now. For I am looking for the mamacitas. I just want the mamacitas. But all of the chicks around here, man, they, um, they're not good. They are very unattractive, me amigo. Very unattractive. Fucking ugly ass bitches. I don't 
Care? Can't you see I have fucking crabs? Whoa, 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 mi amigo. Man, that's a little bit too much information. Like, why would you share something like that? Like, damn. I mean, I'm sorry. Was it your ex? I bet it was your ex. Fuck it, crabs, man. Ugh. I swear, if you tell me you don't know where the freak show wearing mascara is, well, actually, it's fucking eyeliner. If you don't know where he is, I'm not gonna be able to solve any of my problems today, so please, please tell me you know where Greg Mascara is. I don't know who the hell you are. I don't even know where the hell I am. All I know is that I'm looking for my son, Jackie. He has escaped. And no, I don't know where the hell Greg is. I, I don't even care who the hell, who, who is even Greg? I don't care. I'm looking for my son, Jackie. He's in so much damn trouble. Not even from this fucking series. Where, why am I here? You're my last hope, man. Please don't tell me you're incompetent. I need Greg Mascara. Oh, you're looking for Greg? Man, he's off for the day. Oh my god! Brother, brother, where were you? I got strangled for hours while crying your name out. You did nothing for me, brother. Brother, Nave, he assaulted me. We must do something immediately. He must be brought in and punished. Ugh. Hello, loyal subject. Do you have something to report? This is just getting boring at this point. Um, so you were crying for help? I see. Um, well... You know, it isn't really my say on what we do. I'm already having Nave dealt with, technically, but since things are going very slowly, I'm considering calling father. My strutos! You don't even care enough to call me your brother! Wh what what's happened to you? I, I don't even understand. And father, what will father do to fix this? What, what kind of problems can't you face on your own? You're the fucking king! Loyal subject, brother, I mean, you need to calm down, because when I call father, this is gonna go much better. I just know it will. You have to trust me, okay? You just have to trust me, brother, okay? Deep breaths, deep breaths, you and your puppy, deep breaths. I've got this. I've totally got this. I don't fucking got this. Call dad. Well, shit, you're hopeless. Like, oh my god, I've been everywhere today, Murphy. You have no understanding of this. Murphy, oh my god, please, if you know anything. If you've ever seen a kid that looks like Greg running around, he's my child and I've lost him. Please, oh my god. You, you have no idea what it's like to lose a baby. And I've lost my one of my 11 children. Nope, nope, never seen him before in my life. Nope. Um, if I seen somebody running around like Greg, I would be sure to come to you since you were so obsessed with him for so long and you know, this is how things work. Oh my god! Fuck. What, Rao? I know. I know the truth. I know the truth. Your wife told me. You're married, Woodrow. You're married and you lied to me. You lied to me and you hurt me, Woodrow. You knew what Greg did to me, and you promised that you would never be like that, but you're just as bad as he is. You hurt me so much, Woodrow. And to find out, I had to find out through your wife that she's pregnant. I had to find that out. You need to man up, Woodrow. You need to take responsibility for what you did, and you need to raise that baby, Woodrow. You need to. Because guess what? That baby ain't going anywhere. If you ever hurt that baby, or you ever don't take responsibility for it, I will hunt you down, and I will kill you myself. I, I don't understand. I don't understand what happened. I was so happy, and... My, my, the love of my life is gone now. I don't... Why would my sister do this? Why would she do something like this? Why would she ruin my happiness this way? I'm so... I'm so heartbroken. I feel so defeated. I just... Uh, I want my Chevy Boo back. Hello there. Are you quite alright? You look rather distraught. Perhaps I could be of some assistance to you. I 
just lost the love of my life. And my sister betrayed me. And I'm pretty sure that I have an ulcer in my ass. I am just very upset right now. I'm not sure there's anything that you could do to help me. That's where you're wrong. I'm sure your sister is just looking out for your best interests. She just cares deeply. She cares deeply about you. I mean, um, I could help you. Um, let's see now. I have parts as well. Maybe you'd be interested in plucking, I mean, having some fun? Wow, mister, so many lessons we went through today, but I couldn't be more excited. And while I do love and have an addiction to hairspray, I know what I must do. And I know you'll be proud of me. Oh, young master, I couldn't be more proud of your progress today. I am so very proud of your progress. Keep it up the good work, Greg Jr. Baby, 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 I have the best idea. Okay, so I have a solution to your lip raping. Baby, you know I love you very much with all my heart, but um, this is absolutely fucking ridiculous. I look like a fool. I mean, I'm not an actual, I'm not an actual dinosaur. I know you are, but I'm not. And I'm gonna look weird. People are gonna laugh at me. They're gonna, they're gonna point at me and call me names like Dino Head and Dino Man and Dino Ultra Man. Baby, listen, you look amazing as a dinosaur. Like, oh my god, my whole village is going to be happy now. And besides, now you can meet my dad and not have to worry about being judged for being a straight human male. Like... Look at you, you're perfect. Your hair even accentuates the head so nicely. Boy, am I shocked my head hasn't grown in a while. Good for you, I guess. Less, less pain to your penis. Fine, I will wear this, but just understand one thing. I'm not going to be happy about it. Well, that went better than I thought. Controlling his body, having some fun, but oh, oh no. I, uh, forgot a condom. Oh, God. And he doesn't know that I'm his sister yet. I cut my hair. I know I'm ashamed of elf culture, but my gosh, seeing is so much better than believing. Sir! Sir! We, we found an infiltrator! Sir Nave, we found an infiltrator! We caught him red-handed! He was trying to get into the village. Said something about trying to kill you, sir. We're going. What do you want us to do with him? Bring him to me. Well, look who it is. It's the chef, specifically the gay chef. Why were you here? Why are you here? My God tells me that you are here to kill me. But, um, you know, I'm not gay and I don't like sausage, so I'm actually vegan. So, not sure how you really plan to do that. Oh my god, I can't believe I got caught. Like, oh my god, I just, mm, damn it. All I had was one job. All I had was one fucking job to kill you, you son of a bitch. You killed Greg, and I will never forgive you for that. Why would you do that? Why would you take away the love of my life? Why? Why would you do that to me? What did I ever do to you? What did I ever do to you, Nave? Hmm? 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 What did I do? Listen. To be honest, that wasn't really so much of a stab at you. It was more so that I hate Greg. He owed me a lot of money and so did the rest of the kingdom. He was also withholding money from you. So, I did the kingdom a favor. Now, maybe it wasn't agreeable with you, but in the end, you're better off without him. Because, in case you did not notice, he is an idiot. He is a freaking moron. You're better off without him. Look, I understand that Greg was not perfect. Greg was Greg had a lot of problems, and I get that. But you don't get to decide whether someone lives or dies, and I don't think that anyone gets to decide that. 
I don't think anyone gets to decide whether someone lives or dies. That is just wrong. You are not God, sir. You are not God. I don't get to decide whether someone lives or dies, and yet you came here to kill me. So, you know, kind of a big hole in your logic there. Look, I don't want any gripes with you. You don't want any gripes with me. So, allow me to make a suggestion. A deal. If you leave me alone, then I will tell you what Greg is. Because guess what? He's still alive. Greg is still alive. Don't ask me how. Because to be honest, it really fucking annoys me that he's still alive. I mean, I fucking hate his guts. But... If you drop this and you kill the king for me, and let's just be honest, the king is the fucking worst. I mean, he has no idea what the fuck he's doing. Also, one second. Why the fuck is that rooster so damn loud? Why, why is there a rooster in the fucking trees? I don't understand. Like, where the fuck is that even coming from? You know, it's fucking fine. It's whatever. Look, anyway, if you kill the king, because like I said, I think we can all agree, he fucking sucks. He doesn't have anyone's best interest at heart. You kill him, and let me go. I will tell you where Greg is. How you handle that is how you handle that. And I'll offer you another thing. If you wish, you can come here, and you can be our chef. We will pay you good. Because unlike the other kingdom, we actually pay people here. It's fucking awesome, man. Really fucking awesome. Get a salary, get health care. Tons of shit, man. The deal that you make is actually pretty, um, pretty lucrative for me. I don't have to kill you. And I get to see Greg, my Greggy bear. And... I also get to live here, which this place isn't so bad. I think what really seals the deal for me is the giant cock that you have screaming in the background sometimes. I think, I think that's what, I think, yeah, no, this is home. This is home. All right. All right, Sir Nave. I'll take your request. I'll make that deal with you. All right, so kill the king. Come back here. I'll tell you where to find Greg. And then you can do whatever the hell you want to do. I don't really care. But, uh, yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be good. Now, please leave. I've got things to do. Man, I, like, seriously came here to have some fun with you and shit. But, like, what's with the head? Like, what's with your dinosaur head, man? Now I can't, like, totally kiss you or anything. Like, I'm literally sitting on your bed for a reason. I don't know if you know this or anything, but, like... Hi, Daddy. Oh, what in the flying fuck? What in the sailing... What, oh, my God. What in the sailing seagull shit are you doing here, Greg? Why are you here? I just got rid of one game, man. Now I gotta deal with your ass, too. And also, this mask that I am wearing, it is, as my wife puts it, a lip protection unit. It will keep me from getting face raped by everyone in this fucking place. So, you know, like you, for example, because, uh, you got issues. But, um, yeah, don't get the fuck out of my house. Oh my gosh, just because you want to have kinky velociraptor sex or whatever the fuck this is? Wait, why are you so mad at me, man? You don't have to get so uptight. I mean, if you want to do that shit... I'm down. You don't even have to worry, man. Like, your fake anger, I'm feeling it. Bring it, baby. Bring it. And don't hold back. Greg, if you were a dinosaur, let's just say hypothetically, if you were a dinosaur, you know what kind of dinosaur you'd be? A velociraptor. A velociraptor, Greg. Because you're all about that rape. Specifically gay rape. Gay rape of a straight man. You're fucking messed up in the head, Greg. You need to get the fuck out of my place. You need to stop thinking that we're dating because we've never dated, nor will we ever date. We will never fucking date, Greg. In a million years, we won't ever date. In a trillion, 
million zillion years squared, we will never date, Greg. Because guess what? Again, for the millionth fucking time, I am straight. I am having a child with my wife. And honestly, Greg, even if I was gay, you would not fit my standards. Oh, I get it. I get it. This is all some kind of test, right, Nave? Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> glad to know I passed your little test. You finally admit that I'm not gay. Wow. That, that's an improvement for you and your weird logic. Anyway, though, so to prove I'm not gay, that you know, you should totally just sleep with me right here and now and we can just prove this little fact even further. I'll pass your damn test, no matter how much you hit on me or tempt me. No matter how much you fuck me, I will still not be gay. Well, smoking like a true gay man. Greg, listen. For the millionth time, I am not gay. You are gay. There is no... Do you even understand what the hell you're saying, Greg? You're sitting there telling me to go fuck you to prove that you're not gay. It's like you're practically offering me to do it. Like... Wait, what the hell, Greg? What the actual hell? You're gay. In fact, you're actually gayer than anyone else in this fucking kingdom, which is weird, because me and Toothy are like the only two straight people here. God, you got fucking issues, and I'm done with your shit. Get the hell out of my damn house, or I'm gonna get Toothy on you, and you are not going to like her rage, because she has been extra pissed lately. Nave. Nave, it doesn't matter how many times you deny things. You know why? Because we kissed, Nave. Do you remember that? Do you remember that special moment when we kissed? Wasn't it magical? It just lip sensationed our tingles everywhere. And I bet right now you're undressing me with those big, beautiful eyes of yours. Oh, I'll get naked for you, Nave. Just ask me to. I'd fall into your butter, milk, rice ball buns. All right. You know what? That's it. I'm done with you. I'm done having this conversation that we've had a hundred times. I'm done. I didn't want to have to do this, Greg. I really didn't. Oh, who the fuck am I kidding? I totally wanted to do it. Oh, darling. Oh, this shit is on now. Gregory, I will devour your soul. And everything that makes you into who you are, primarily mascara. I am going to fucking end you now. You son of a bitch. This is the last straw. You're fucking done. Oh, no. This is a horrible. Oh, no. And then Craig was beaten mercilessly for hours. And this concludes our mid-season finale. See you again soon. Much love the cast of Greg Mascara.